So we give greetings to all of you, our young friends. We are pleased to join with you on this beautiful evening. Mm -hmm. In moments such as this, when there is great upheaval, anxieties, distresses, it is more important than ever to take moments and appreciate the beauties that are also surrounding you. Because distress arises, beauty and nature do not disappear. When you ignore them, however, their energy becomes weaker, their power weaker. How can they help you to repair the damage done if you push them away and pay no heed to their presence? Hmm. Yes, things that you do not think about in the moment, but it is obvious, is it not? They're standing by to help, accept their help, understand. You are the boss of you. We enjoy that phrase. We enjoy it. We say it for, we are teasing our conduit slightly for the many times she says to us, you're not the boss of me. We say, of course not. You are your own boss and manager. Who else would be in charge of you but yourself? And we tell you as well, you are the ones in charge of yourselves. Each body before us, each person, you are the creator of your life. That does not mean you are personally responsible for everything that has happened to you. It means, though, that you have the ability to take your life to wherever you wish it. If you do not wish to do the work involved, or if you do not acknowledge the tools available to you, then of course, it is easy to become the victim of the situation. Now, we are not saying that every time you have been victimized or had a difficulty, it is your fault. Of course, there is no blame. And of course, things occur outside of your ability to manage them. This is not what we are saying. We are not speaking of responsibility for every moment in your life, every situation, every tragedy that has befallen you. What we are saying is in the overarching theme of your life, there are many paths available to you at all times. If you take a step further on your path, the vista has not changed. The cast of characters who are supporting actors of your momentary situation have not changed, for you have gone forward one step. But as there are always many paths ahead, you may veer yourself this way or that way to see where your destination will become. Now, those who are very experienced in managing their life path, who excel at learning from and releasing their karmic lessons, of course, these humans have the ability to make great change in the moment in place. However, they only got to that 
state of being through having lived many lives and had many mistakes, many tragedies, many experiences to give them all the lessons they need to now stand in their power. If you are not yet ready to stand in your power, know that you are on the path to become one who stands in their power. This is inevitable. Will it happen this life or another? Only you will know this. Will it happen with greater ease or difficulty? This you may determine. This is where you have the power. You have the power of yourself and your faith in yourself. You have the power of believing in yourself and then going forward on the path that resonates with your belief in self, with your path towards always becoming your greatest, most self-loving self. So we say in these very difficult days, to notice the birds singing and the flowers growing or the beauty of the rain or the delight of the cold weather upon your cheeks or the taste of the food or drink, the beauty of the moments help you to remain in balance so that you remember who you are and how very much you deserve to love yourself, respect and admire yourself. If you think only of the distresses, then this becomes a great challenge to love yourself. If you balance the distresses with the beauties, then you may bring energy from the beauties also to your heart. Of course, you may still feel anxieties. Our conduit is very good at self-management, but we feel much anxieties within her that are not normally there, but now they are. So we understand it is natural to feel anxious, distressed, but it is more natural to balance that so that it does not own you. You own yourself. You are your own boss. So we say, do not self-recriminate, self-appreciate, and know each day will be followed by another day. And for those of you who realize we, existence is not just the little linear timeline that you seem to cling to, each day is surrounded by the same day lived in different ways. If you do not enjoy how your day is in this timeline, imagine how it would be in other timelines and then invite that energy to join you with this one. Hmm. We hope this makes sense to you.